What's up everybody, Bandit and Chad here for another Taco Tuesday, and we kind of have some, um, I guess, unfortunate news to talk about. So here on the East Coast, we've been kind of pelted with rain and a lot colder weather than we've had uh, the past several months, uh, but on the West Coast, especially California, they have been going through uh, their their fires out there. Uh, it seems to be a really terrible uh, deal, uh, but one hero really stuck out to us uh, and that's Mr. Pierce uh, you can follow him he has the panda tundra on uh, Instagram uh, but this guy basically got his family to safety and then went back in to uh, rescue others with his tundra and uh, that is just an amazing story uh, you can definitely read up on his Instagram to get uh, more stories and uh, more of uh, his take on how all of that went but I mean he started with a white truck and this thing looks like a toasted marshmallow now I mean the mirror melted off yeah. uh, it's really pretty rough yeah, from what I could see lots of those body plastics such as the front grill even looked to be a little bit melted as well it had a TRD Pro grill on the front of it and uh, as Bandit said it did look very much like a toasted marshmallow when I first saw the picture I thought it was a custom like paint or wrap job on the Tundra before I had gotten to read the uh, caption to that picture, but it is crazy to think, you know, that there are these people out there that have this much courage and we're very, very thankful for them. Um, and he's gotten a lot of publicity out of it. You know, unfortunately, you know, his truck was damaged in the process of it all, but it's better than losing the lives that could have uh, potentially been lost. But out of all of this, I think there's something also really amazing on Toyota's part. Right, so Toyota, uh, took over they actually commented on uh, his picture on his Instagram page and basically said don't worry about the truck uh, you know trucks are definitely replaceable and they're actually gonna give him a brand new truck uh, yep. for all of his heroism so I'm not sure if you uh, call him a hero or an angel or some combination thereof uh, but his work is definitely uh, not going unnoticed there and uh, you know we're a long way away from the California wildfires but we can definitely appreciate uh, all of that and uh, you know a huge thank you to him uh, they do have a GoFundMe on his um, Instagram page uh, so be sure and check that out they've already raised thirteen thousand dollars and like we said uh, Toyota has promised to give him a new truck but um, you know as much of a natural disaster is this is um, you know it is kind of a some light there in the darkness and we do really appreciate all of that yep so while we're on the topic of Toyota as a parent company to all these different little entities and uh, all the different vehicles that they make uh, there are some new stories coming out about what's about to be at the LA Auto Show here in uh, about a week and a half now right yeah that's right coming up really soon Toyota is going to be bringing uh, quite a few different um, bits and pieces to this auto show um, one in particular that we did see in Toyota did just recently tease as of I believe this morning um, is the next generation uh, Corolla sedan, uh, the US version. So Europe did get kind of, I guess, their own version recently, which we got in the form of the Corolla hatchback, right? Um, which has been getting a lot of good reviews and it, it looks really great. Um, so the Corolla sedan is going to be a separate model uh, from what it looks like. Um, I'm assuming a completely updated vehicle. Right? right, and we would guess it would go more towards the architecture that they use for that Corolla hatch. Uh, I believe that is a modular structure that that is built on. And uh, that vehicle has been praised from the start to have a lot more sporty handling and just a whole lot more refined vehicle than the Corolla was uh, itself uh, for the previous generation. Uh, but also uh, they've been uh, documented for bringing the TRD versions of both the Camry and the Avalon. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. Uh, both of those vehicles have gotten a good bit sportier over the past couple of years and have had uh, become a lot less of a uh, penalty box car or a uh, you know cheaper vehicle uh, that they were uh, previously associated with. Uh, you know they do have uh, the V6 in the upper trims that are found here in our trucks. They're actually tuned to over 300 horsepower in those applications. Uh, so normally the TRD versions come with a revised suspension, maybe some different graphics, some sway uh, bars, uh, right? Yeah. Uh, probably some wheels or something like that. Uh, that's what we've seen with different TRD versions in the past. Uh, look at the TRD Pro versions of the Forerunner, the Tacoma, and the Tundra, and more than likely we'll see something similar to that. Hopefully we'll see some kind of uh, revised exhaust and intake uh, to hopefully, you know, uh, accompany those sportier accents. That would be great. Um, and I'm sure we'll see a lot of other vehicles. One in particular that has been showing up at a lot of recent uh, uh, auto shows is the Chevy Colorado 
Bison Edition. Uh, so basically that's a ZR2 that is uh, tuned by uh, AEV, which is a really cool, you know, American Expedition Vehicle is a really cool um, company there. And this vehicle is supposed to start at $48,000 and that's for the extended cab. So if you go to the full four door truck, you're looking at just under 50,000. I think it's two or $300 under $50,000. Uh, but that is pretty pricey. Um, it looks like a lot of those uh, accents that are found there on that truck are gonna be available for the rest of the Colorado lineup. And that uh, includes the different skid plates. They're supposed to be a lot stronger, uh, the different grill, and I'm sure that snorkel will go along with it. Um, but definitely keep your eyes open for that that should be hitting dealer lots very very soon right and rolling right back to toyota again there have been a few um stories that have come out and toyota even did tease a picture um not too long ago of what appears to be a toyota prius um driving through the snow and while front wheel drive vehicles tend to be okay in some lighter snow uh, because of the engine and transmission being right over top of the drive wheels of course in the front um, we are led to believe um, through these various reports and pictures that this will be an all-wheel drive Toyota Prius. So what we are assuming is that it will continue being the hybrid variant that it is, but they will, like Teslas and uh, a hybrid RAV4 having the um, all-wheel drive system, being that it's completely disconnected from the front, but there is an electric motor that would be in the rear to drive those rear wheels. Um, other than that, though, we don't have any numbers. Um, this is just something that Toyota has probably kept under wraps pretty well. Um, and you know how big the Prius is worldwide, um, especially in Japan. This is something that will be pretty interesting and probably um, a pretty efficient and uh, now more capable family hauler. Right, and going back to what Chad said about Tesla, when Tesla added the dual motors to their various vehicles and different models, uh, they actually squeezed out a little bit more range. So it'll be really interesting to see if uh, Toyota can pull out any more range there with the Prius. Uh, obviously more range, I don't think anyone can, would complain about that. Um, so it really should be pretty um, a pretty dynamic vehicle, I, I believe, especially there in the snow uh, with that uh, low center of gravity and hopefully pretty good weight distribution. Hopefully it'll get a lot of people wherever they're going here in this winter season. So with Thanksgiving coming up next week, uh, I'm sure there'll be a lot more uh, Black Friday deals and all kinds of specials going on for different uh, accessories for your vehicles. Uh, we'll be tr trying to stay on top of all this and make Instagram posts whenever we see something or anything like that. Uh, it's already been uh, publicized that Toy Tech is gonna be having 10% off of their website now through um, I'm thinking Black Friday. I yeah, think it's when right it's around said. that period. Um, but definitely, if you have any uh, suspension wants or desires, I would definitely look towards them. Uh, we're not affiliated with them at all, but they definitely make good products. Uh, I've installed several of their lift kits on my friends' different vehicles. Mm -hmm. It's gone really great. They definitely make some high quality products. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of uh, different companies will be having specials and we'll be sure to relay all that to you all. Uh, one thing that did come up here in the past. A week or two is why we're not making quite as many off-road videos a couple of y'all have noticed that um, it's not the fact that we're not going off-road uh, it is hunting season now our exams are kind of uh, trying to wrap up right now we're getting kind of into that season uh, here at Virginia Tech uh, with all our tests and everything um, but I've been off-road actually about every weekend for the past <laughs> month and a half more so than I have been probably since August. That was probably the last time I really did. But. Yeah, uh, but between going hunting, uh, I've been doing a lot on my four-wheeler, which uh, a lot of y'all have uh, commented. It was interesting to see your all's guesses on that. Uh, <laughs> that will be making a debut here on the channel before too long. Um, but really, the sad reality is uh, our off-road videos don't get a whole lot of views. And, uh, you know, we're not making these videos to get famous or rich or anything like that. Uh, but it seems like, uh, you know, we only get a few hundred views for off-road videos uh, each time. And to be completely honest, they take a lot of editing. They take a lot of time to film. Um, and really, they get a lot less views and uh, kind of a worse reception than a lot of our other videos. Um, not saying we won't go back to that, uh, but there's definitely going to be a greater space between all of those. Uh, it seems like our time is better spent uh, keeping you all informed about upcoming models and um, you know little modifications to the truck here and there. Uh, they seem to get a lot better reception. So let us know what you all think. If you are really interested in seeing more off-road videos, let us know uh, whether that's for the trucks or four-wheelers or whatever else. 
uh, we've kind of opened ourselves up to a, a lot of different videos uh, and we would definitely be interested in bringing all of that to you all if you're still interested so uh, as always let us know we do always read the comments and uh, we'll try to reply to all of those uh, questions that do arise down there uh, but thank you all very much for watching have a fantastic week everybody we'll catch you next time see you guys